Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Miss Jenny is the booker at the airline. That's who she is. She's the one who books my trips. She's the one who helps me make money. That's who she really, is. Really, that's why you have to call her? Of course I have to call her. Times a week? Of course you're, I have to call her. You're switching your ticket that many times? I'm not switching my ticket. I'm flying the dang plane. I'm not switching any ticket. So go my head. My head is so You need bad. to go. I, I pay for this so you can go my so you can get better. Robert, my life. Oh, come on. Her house. I don't think come you, on. I don't think you'd want to know who I that just was. You what did you do? I Asian bitch. That's my divorce lawyer, Nancy. My divorce you lawyer. What? That's right, my divorce lawyer. That's who it is. Casey, please. Hey, hey, I'm so sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Mommy. Guess what, honey? I just. She's not anymore. What? <laughs> what are She's you doing? She's not your divorce attorney anymore. Stop! You're scaring Casey. <sighs> what did you do, Nancy? <sighs> Tell me, what did you do? Oops. Oh, come on. Don't <laughs> stop it. Yes, I, I need an ambulance. No, it's my wife. She's unconscious. I don't know. Please hurry. <laughs> it's... Oh my, what a beautiful house. I can't wait to see what's inside. Grandma! Oh, did you get me any presents? Lydia! <laughs> so empowered. Go get the pizza out of the car. Pizza! That's your present. Grandma, you have to see this. Okay. Look. Sweetie, where's Casey? She's been in her room for hours. She's not watching you? I'm watching myself. She's such a big girl. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Mm. Casey? Casey? What? Come say hi to Grandma. You mean your mother? Thank you. Mom, when is Robert coming home? My dad's coming home tomorrow. I wish he didn't have to travel so much. Yeah, he's a pilot. I do too, Lydia. Oh. Casey? What? You're such a, a pretty girl. Why do you wear all that dark makeup? It, it hides your pretty face. Oh, that's just because it's not World War II and I can wear whatever I want. Okay, Casey, come on.
I appreciate the flowers, dear. Anything to brighten this place up. It ain't exactly the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> oh, Mom, it's not that bad. Oh, you know, always say about uh, serial killers. <laughs> My, he seemed like such a nice man. <laughs> Oh, 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 Before I forget, I have something for you. My will, in case anything happens to me. Nothing's gonna happen to you. I don't think this is legal. Hmm? You need a witness. Oh, uh, I had the man across the hall witness it. See? Um... Half the stuff you gave away years ago. Okay, well, that's fine. Skyla and I will take care of you. No, no, uh, let me take care of you. You've always taken care of me. Oh, I, well, I'll have to uh, uh, freshen up a bit and, and maybe put some uh, powder on, maybe a little lipstick. Hey, sweetie, grab yourself some breakfast. Here you go. Hello? How is the most beautiful, smartest, and talented biochemist in the world? <laughs> Late. <laughs> Everything okay? Sure is. I'm married to the woman of my dreams. Then I'm your girl. You still coming home tonight? We miss you. I sure am. I got you a surprise. Ooh, what'd you get me? It's a surprise. <laughs> I like surprises. I know. That is why I love you so much. You're so sweet, but we're late. I've got to drop the girls off at school and get to work. Okay. I love you. See you soon. You too. You ready, Casey? I've got breakfast for you downstairs. Wow, you shouldn't have. Casey, come on. I've got a lot to get done today. You could help. Hey, I paid for that. So go pay for another one. Oh, man. Look at that tool. Hey! Stop shooting the girls! Expensive. I guess if you pay for it. Where are you from? Seattle, basically. Seattle, basically? What's that about? A lot of rain, I guess. Can I have my camera back? No. <laughs> You're not a perv, are you? No. No. Kind of. Me too. Kind of. How's family life? Ah, wish Robert was in town more. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you do. A one track mind. I'm guilty as charged. You know, I just feel like we never had that honeymoon period. We're always trying to balance time with the girls. How's it going with Casey? Not well. Not so sure we're bonding. Well, you just moved into her home. It's natural for her to be territorial. Plus, she's probably on drugs. Oh, wow, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm usually three steps ahead. <gasps> you should have seen me at 16. I was like a walking fish concert. <laughs> just be aware of the signs. I'm not here to judge. I just said get out. 
We need to talk. <sighs> Angry at your age. My mom and I put each other through hell. She was not stable and it was pretty bad. You know, I, I basically took care of my mom and sister. Yeah? What happened next? Yeah, it's, it's complicated. Right. Anyway, I find it's easier if we're just honest with each other. Yeah. So if you're going to be experimenting with, there are going to be consequences. Yeah, for sure. What kind of consequences? Just curious. I would have to discuss that with your father. The consequences? Look, I'm not going to get into semantics, Casey. We're not doing anything that's going to harm your future, period. And you know, you could lighten up a little on the attitude. God, Jill, you're such a good mother. Don't test me, Casey. Everything okay in here? Hate time. Right, Joe? Great. Hey, Dad. Are you gonna read me a story? Shall we? Are we good? Yeah. We're great. Okay. Dad. Yeah? Can you close the door? Yeah. I think it's poetic license. Why are her stepsisters so mean? They weren't happy in their own hearts, so they took it out on her. serious. Someone say something funny. <laughs> Beautiful. I have missed you. I miss you too. How was Miami? It was okay. We were fishing out by the Keys. Yeah, you catch this off a mermaid? <laughs> no. I got it from a little Cuban shop down the street from my hotel. Hey, how was everything back here? We're still... adjusting. Going through. Having a mother like that, not knowing what it means for you. What happened with Casey's mom? I told you, it was bad. We had a big fight, and I filed for divorce. She got custody. How many years did Casey spend with that woman? Five long years. I'm gonna help her, Robert. So your parents are divorced too? Yeah. That's too bad. A lot. Except for when we were working on photos together. My mom likes to talk about them, but I really don't see the point. What? Nothing. You're not like all the other girls. You're different. Well, we're both different. Victor, what are you doing? We got a new rule around here. Creeps that like to take pictures of our girls get to experience the cold in the shower. Oh, are you serious? Come on. Stop it. Victor, Creep. stop. It's not funny. I was talking to him. Hey, 
Where are you heading? To class. I like your shirt. Something I said? My shirt, Brad. Really, Brad? You like my shirt? What do you like it to see through when you can take pictures and post on the internet? Whoa, is it about this morning? The football players? Yeah, it is. You let them walk all There was two of them. I can count. Well, what do you suggest I do? How'd you get that in there? You don't want to know. Is it recording? It is now. Good. Work with me and then hang out with that toolbox. It's not cool to tell someone you love them and then ignore them. Did you love me? Yes, I loved you. I still do. You know what, Vic? You're an idiot. You're so stupid. You walk around all the time like you think you're so great. But nobody actually likes you. Everyone just feels bad for you. It's pathetic. Casey, how could you say that? You said you loved me. I guess I lied. Casey. Casey! I didn't know you were home. Well, I am. <clears throat> I thought that uh, maybe we could go do something fun together. Fun? Yeah, like girls' night. Um. Whatever. It's none of your business. What's in it? It's none of your business. What do you want me to go around in your room and start looking through your stuff, asking a million questions? Look, Casey, you can try and drive me away all you want, but I'm here to stay. I lived through a crazy mother and a wild sister, and I don't give up. That's so cool. I love it. Thanks for helping out. You're welcome. Hello? That can't be. What's wrong? It's my mother. I'm sorry, Jill. She's gone. Whoa, whoa, hey, let me do this. Does everything look okay? That looks great. I know you're getting sick of it. Just happened so suddenly. You know, she was doing fine the last time I saw her. She wasn't dying. We go and we go. I'm horrible. You do not look horrible.
Where do you think you're going? And who's he? Dad, Brad, Brad, Dad. Why aren't you dressed for the service? Because we're not going to the service. And where would you be going? We're going out. It's none of your business. Casey. Casey, get your ass back here. This has nothing to do with me. Yes, it does. We're a family. This is your family. That's your Aunt Skyla. I need a drink. Clearly. Hello, everyone. Is this Hello, Skyla. Hello. This is my husband, Robert. Hello. It's twice in Europe. This is my daughter, Casey. Ooh, I love your outfit. Thank you. Where's the open bar? I'm sorry I couldn't get her earlier. Modeling is slavery. OK, we're going to go. Did she fart already? No, she isn't. Come on, let her blow off some steam. Well, let's go see Grandma. Casey, let's go. Say hi to someone, okay? Hi. Have you seen this yet? You said you wanted me. You should just do your job. Everything all right? Um, yeah. It's about to be. Still not answering? Straight to voicemail. I'm sorry, Robert. Casey has to learn that the world doesn't live and die based on her needs. How are you feeling? Really hot. Don't, just be in the moment. So what? Oh, I do, I want to. You gotta be a man sometimes. Want something to take it. Take it, yeah. Pretty trippy stuff. This isn't hers. Looks like something Casey would wear. I can't sleep. I'm. I'm gonna drive around and look for Casey. I'll go with you. No, stay. Skyla's in no condition to watch Lydia. Plus, it'll give me time to think. Okay. Be careful.
feel bad about leaving the funeral? Why would I feel bad? Because it's your family. Don't say that. They're not my family. I think family's just a made-up idea. You know, my dad and I were completely fine. Just us. And then this complete stranger comes into my life and starts telling me what to do. Everything's gonna be okay. on here Jill I'm sorry I you scared me he was just telling me that he saw someone in my mother's room the other night w were there any visitors well not that I know Let him rest oh. of course oh. the doctor said my mother had a heart attack would it be possible to see her file um, I'd have to clear that with my boss it's kind of standard procedure you understand of course. Mrs. Burris, I'm afraid I can't help you. But she's my mother. I'm allowed to see her file. It's too early in the administrative process. I can mail you one in three weeks. Three weeks? 
She's already been cremated. You still need authority to expedite an autopsy report. Does it help that I'm a lab technician? technician who hires other lab technicians? Competitive pay, good health benefits, no dead people. I'll be right back. <sighs> Thank you. What are you looking for? Cause of death. You don't think she was murdered, do you? Seems paranoid. Everything good? Says she died of a heart attack. Nothing out of the ordinary? No. <sighs> when did you get home? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. Your father was worried sick. What about you? Were you worried sick? Casey, don't start. I'm a free person. It's not against the law to spend the night somewhere else. You are not a free person. You're a minor, and what you did was dangerous. I guess I was just freaked out about Grandma. What did I miss? Casey disappeared for two days. OK. Looks like you have your hands full, so excuse me. Uh, maybe she just needed some fresh air and, you know, get away from all the structure. She's 16. There's that. And some people need structure. Right. We can't all be perfect, can we? Okay, Skyla, you can stay, but can you please? Oh, Jesus Christ, Skyla, can you cut me some slack? I mean, just for once. Okay. Where did that come from? Did you ever, did you ever see mom in me? What do you mean by that? Her instability. You mean her crazy? <laughs> Jill, if there is anybody, it's me. <laughs> Look, I'm not a shrimp. You never actually took time to unwind. You know, sis, unwind. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Your attitude this week has been unacceptable. Casey, we've talked about trust. It's obviously not sinking in. I'm not going to drag this out any further. You're grounded. Um. For a week. Okay. I guess that's fair. Look, guys, um, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Jill and I are going to go out for a while. Okay. So if the babysitter tells us you left this house, we're going to revisit this punishment. Wait, Dad, you don't need to get a babysitter. I can take care of Lydia. I'm completely responsible. Just give me another chance. I'll be fine. I'll be good. I promise. I promise. We're gonna play a game. Thank you. I needed this. Your, your strength amazes me, girl. <laughs> You're taking care of everyone oh, and dealing with loss oh, at the same time. I'm making a fool of myself. Don't be ridiculous. No, I thought I'd have 10 more years with her and now she's just gone. I mean, I wish I could have just told her I was sorry. She knew. She loved you, Joe. I know. 
Thank you. Thank you. It's my fault. <sighs> I haven't been here. Casey has been a grade A headache for you. The thing is, Casey's always been different. And different how? She, she didn't talk for about a year. And she wouldn't eat. She wouldn't go to school. And after a while, she just had to go away. To an institution? No. Yeah. I know. I know that she screwed up, Jill. Thank you. I can't do this without you. We're a family. We'll get through this. Yeah. I can't find the last piece we need. The brick house. Hey, Lydia. Do you ever miss your dad? Sometimes. He lives in New York. I don't know. Mom says he's busy. Do you believe her? My mom never lies. Come on, she's got to lie about something. Not my mom. Everybody lies, Lydia. What do you lie about? My whole life is a lie. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, look at that. How all the little piggies can be safe. And they all have their home now. That was the piece I was looking for. That's weird. I guess I had it in my hand the whole time. Oops. This is nuts. Didn't you say your stepdaughter went to one of these recently? I dated Casey for a while. Well, thank God that isn't a photo of her. The drugs they've got flowing around at those things. Doesn't say he OD'd. Oh, come on. 18-year-old athlete dies at a rave? What else would it be? Breakfast? You have to eat. That's how you start your metabolism. <sighs> My metabolism has a hangover. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to force feed you then, huh? That's good. I wanted to do mac. Okay. Um, I made some eggs and some salt. Well. I haven't made the sausage yet, but I will. And some hot tea. Mmm, you're quite a chef. Well, I've been practicing. Kind of have a new boyfriend. Ooh, that guy from... Um, will you hand me that knife over there? The one... No, the one on top. Yeah, that one. Oop, careful. Sharp. Skyla, where is she? She 
she's dead. What did you say? I buried her alive. Casey, not funny. Joe, I'm not trying to be funny. Ow, what did what? you do? You just grab my arm like that. Jill? It's the commotion. What's the problem? <gasps> you actually thought that I did that? Is everything okay? Yeah. Get out! Get out of my room! Casey, Get out! games you're playing are unacceptable. You're grounded until further notice. No more going out at night, no more Brad, no more parties. Fine, whatever, I don't care. The last one was dead anyways. Wasn't he your boyfriend? Yeah, for like a second. Now, can you please get out of my room? You're invading my privacy. You have some respect. What's the matter with you? I mean, what 16-year-old needs a safe? What am I going to find in there? Huh? Don't Casey. touch it. It's mine. You can't touch my things. It's none of your business. Yeah, what's going on in here? Wondering, um, don't forget we have that appointment with the lawyer. Did you really think that she was serious about murdering me? I don't know what to think anymore. Angela, I hate to say this, but you're sounding a little bit crazy. Mom died. That boy she dated died. All you can do is to hug her until she stops throwing punches. Okay, well, Skyla, no offense, but you're not exactly one to be giving out parenting advice. You want score points? Great. You win. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Whatever. Sorry about that, just finishing up a call. Come on in. Okay, let's see here. Uh, your mother, uh, Mrs. Teresa Noren, had significant health care costs, but she did have some money left over, uh, according to and uh, that's it. Wait. I'm, I'm sorry, that, that can't be. No offense. I... Well, that's, that's all it says about money. Down here, she does add, Skyla has lived the type of life that I had dreamed of for my daughters. She's a beautiful, smart, vivacious woman who lives life to its fullest. And my only wish is that my daughter, Jill, someday feels the energy and freedom that her sister has. That's typed. Radic. Are you suggesting that she didn't write it? <laughs> well, I don't know what to say, Mrs. Burris. It was found at her bedside, and it clearly supersedes all other wills. Tell me, is, uh, is that her signature? Yep. Yes. She never used computers. Well, maybe one of the nurses typed it. Why would she leave money to only one of us? I don't know. Maybe she thought that you and Rob... You think Casey did something. Look, I never told you this, but I found one of Casey's necklaces in Mom's room. So? So, what reason in the world would Casey have to go visit our mom? Maybe she just wanted to be polite. I found out that that kid Victor was also wearing that necklace before he died. Victor used to be Casey's boyfriend. She has a thing about that necklace. And what if she went into mom's room? Okay, now you're officially sounding like crazy mom.
our anniversary. And the Lars of Pearl. What are you doing? Uh, you're home. I didn't want to do this, I, but I'm worried about Casey. What the hell is she doing in my room? What's your language? You have no right to be in here. You gave up all rights to privacy when you disappeared for two days. Look, I know what's going on, Casey. You don't know anything. You're never even home. Look, that's not fair. I know exactly. You don't know anything that you're on. So what is it, Casey? What are we going to find in the safe? This is crazy. She's insane. Get out of my room. Calm down, Casey. Get out. 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 Casey, get it's out. Get out. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I hate you. Get out. Get out. Get Casey. out. Get out, please. Calm down. Get out, please. What'd you find? It's called Malarzaprol. The drug can be used as a cure for trypsinosomiasis, also known as the African sleeping sickness. It is highly dangerous, and if abused, can have the same effect as arsenic poisoning in humans. It can lead to nausea, fever, convulsions, loss of consciousness, and death. You don't really think Casey used this on your mother. I thought it was a heart attack. Well, the coroner didn't barely checked her out. I mean, he looked at her age and said, cardiac arrest. So what are you going to do? I need to order a tissue sample. She was cremated. Malarzaprol. <laughs> you are ridiculous. That's horrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, that can't mean. It's just this girl. Hi, gorgeous. You're going? Yeah, I have to be. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Tina. Bye. Thanks. You should have seen us together in Europe. And I'm surprised we're still alive. Wow. Sounds crazy. <laughs> when did you? And trust me, as soon as I could get out of here, I did. Are you celebrating something? Yeah. I recently came into some money. No kidding. Good for you. Mom left everything to me. Really? You should have seen Jill. She was a little ticked by it. Of course I'm gonna split it all with her. Of course. I'll try to buy a few things. I don't know if you've thought about this, but I don't know if you should split it with her. That'd kind of be denying Graham's her last dying wish. I don't know if you want a sip? Uh, the champagne? Yeah. Okay. Of course. Just don't tell my sister. I wouldn't dare tell her. Nice. <laughs> so why is she so strict all the time anyway? I was just say that some people like to control everything. Has she been doing that to you all life? When our dad died, it was sort of me, mom, and Jill, and when she wasn't at school, she would come home and... That's no good. That sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Definitely. <laughs> so what happened to her with her ex-husband? With Lydia's dad, did they just fight all the time, or...? Is that what she told you? No, they had some problems, but that's not why they broke up. Why'd they break up? Okay, I'll tell you, but you can't repeat a word. 
I wouldn't dare. Mom, what's going to happen to us? What do you mean? Because you and Casey are always fighting. Oh, sweetie, that has nothing to do with Robert and I. Do you think she'd ever hurt us? Why? Has she done something to you? Just curious. Lydia, nothing bad will ever happen to you. Not as long as I'm around. Got it? Got it. <laughs> oh my god. Skylar, what are you doing? Alright, that's it. Pack your bags, you're leaving. You never told me that your ex husband cheated on you. <laughs> He didn't exactly cheat, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I mean, she got him making out in the corner of a business event. <laughs> but Vincent is perfect here. She couldn't stand the thought of dust under a bed. Lydia, go to your room. Uh oh, here comes superhero mom. <laughs> She's here to protect the innocent. Okay, Lydia, go to your room now. Casey, you too. Now, let's go. Okay. Stepping in here. Give me that. Get. Mm. What? What do you mean, what? You're drinking with a teenager. How dare you talk about me in front of the girls? I'm mourning. I'm allowed to be upset. You know, I'm calling you a cab. You're going to a hotel. I don't need a cab. I'll drive my own car. I said I don't need a cab. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you, are you out of your mind? Oh, no, it's you are out of your mind. I mean, your <laughs> pathetic thoughts of family having this. Perfect house, perfect daughter, perfect husband, but you're no better than anyone else. You're drunk. You're just jealous that mom loved me more. It's called Ilan. Stop apologizing first. Stop stuffing your feelings down. How do you think I get by? I had two kids to take care of since I was a kid. You and mom. You don't think I wanted to go out and get wild? Stop martyring yourself. It didn't help our family and it's not gonna help this one either. You can hate me all you want, but you can fix anything and never could. Get out of my house. <laughs> Is this what family means? I don't want to be a part of it. I'm back. Oh, not again. I don't think so. Question for you. How do I get a tissue sample? A tissue sample? Yes, my mother was an organ donor and I need to track down a sample. It's very important. Oh, is that all? I need to check it for poison. You need to speak to a detective about that. I can't go to a detective. Why not? Because if I'm wrong, it could ruin my family. Look, this is a real emergency. Naomi, I've got a favor to ask. Okay, here we go. Yeah. One. Good. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get closer. Here we go. All right, what do you think okay. of that? You like that? That's great. Okay. And now, uh, okay, put your arms. Just touch me a little bit. Not uh, too much. Okay. That's too much. All right. Okay. Is it right little. there? There. Right That's there? good. Okay. Yeah, one hand. One hand. There we go. Ah! You get in it, okay, and, and then we'll have, yeah, yeah, like we're like at the beach or something. Right. Ah! Ah, that was a good one. Okay, that one. Yes. Not that you can see out my skirt or anything. Oh my God, that is hilarious. Uh, Naomi, <laughs> you need to take a look at this. What am I looking at? 
positive for arsenic. My mother was poisoned. Unless you're looking for it. Oh, God. I have to go. Run the test on that boy, Victor. We'll need verification. OK. How can I direct your call? I need to speak to someone, a, a detective or a supervisor. All officers are in the field. Would you like to leave a message? No, no, no. That's fine. I'll call back. Is Lydia here? Uh, you just missed her. Her sister just picked her up. Casey picked her up? Yeah, she's on the list of people. Who... She wasn't driving. A, a young man was? Hey, babe. I was just thinking about you. Robert, I need you to listen to me very carefully. I think something bad's happened to Lydia. She all right? She... I, think, I think Casey has her. Hold on. Can you say that again? You're breaking up. Casey has her. Casey has Lydia. I think she's going to kill her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, Casey's got some issues, but I, she wouldn't kill anyone. You have to trust me on this, Robert. Casey and that boy from school picked Lydia up without my permission, OK? And, and, and my mother was poisoned, arsenic, the same kind I found in Casey's safe. We don't get there, and no one's there. You call 911, OK, instead of an Amber Alert. If, if Lydia is in danger, I am not going to sit on my hands. Jill, let the authorities help. Everything's going to be OK. Lydia, are you in here? Where is my daughter? What are you talking about? I'm right here. Where's Lydia? Oh, your other daughter. Not your stepdaughter. Look, Casey, it can still be OK. Your father told me how bad it was with your mom, all the pain that you went through. No one wants you to be in pain. No one wants to take your father away from you. Hey, just tell me where my daughter is. There you go again, Joe. Trying to protect everyone. Killed my mother. I don't really think that matters now. You know, she was really surprised to see me that night. She asked me all these questions before I wrapped my arms around her and slid a needle into her arm. I think she wanted it. She was a really restless soul. God damn you, Casey. Where is Lydia? Where's my daughter? No more games. Casey? It's Robert. What the hell is going on over there? Why aren't you picking up? Casey, just Skype me. She has Lydia tied up. Where are they now? I don't know. Wait. Wait, they're here, in some kind of forest from when she was little. The Angels National Forest? No, 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 I'm on my way. I'm gonna call 911 and we'll meet you there. Did you have a good nap? I really I had a bad dream. <laughs>